Hey guys, so today I want to make a video about a comment I got on my maybe like I no longer protective style video. I'm not sure which one it was, but this is not um, really a part of our question series. This is a video I felt compelled to make after seeing this comment um, just to address something that I think is still not I think, that is apparently still misunderstood by um, a lot of people. So this comment was saying basically that my, the advice I was giving in that video, basically what I did to grow my hair is for all intents and purposes, like invalid, it's not good. Basically not good advice, this doesn't work because of this reason and that reason, like they mentioned oh we need airflow to the scalp the scalp needs to breathe the reason your hair isn't growing maybe because you're not getting enough like air to the scalp type thing um everyone's natural hair journey needs to be enjoyed so it's not right to sacrifice uh like comfort and looks for length retention i'm pretty sure they use the word never <laughs> should never be sacrificed <laughs> um and I'm not making this video just because this was a like comment that disagreed with what I had to say or just because it's negative like I'm not the kind of person who is going to invest my time into something so trivial but this is something that's important to me because having it misconstrued is like very upsetting <laughs> so where to start okay let's start <laughs> let's start from an overarching perspective. I don't even know where to begin, y'all. I'm so like tangled up inside because of the things that I wanna say. Um, so forgive me if the order is a mess. The biggest thing that this person and all the people who liked their comments are misunderstanding greatly is the reason why <laughs> I started my YouTube channel and I continue to set up my camera in front of me and make videos here alone in my room <laughs> to put them out on YouTube for free for people to find and see and watch is because back in the day I was a lot of you who are watching my content now looking for answers and aren't just watching my content are on YouTube searching for the answer for how to grow your 4C, type 4C, whatever, similar to my hair texture. You have a hair texture that's similar to mine and you're trying to grow it as long as I did, right? You're literally on the internet looking for this answer. And when I was you 10 years ago, even more, and I was on YouTube looking for this answer, it did not exist. <laughs> it was not out there. There was no one with my hair type who had grown it as long as I did who I could go to for the answers. I've mentioned this before, the people who were on YouTube at the time who had long hair, first of all, there were only a few of them who had made it to waist length hair or longer. And the second important point, none of them had my hair type. There are 4A, 4A or higher on the hair type spectrum. No one had my combination of hair. And then three, no one had gone through what I went through. No one went through a five-year growth plateau and told me, oh, the reason you went through that was because of this. Girl, you need to be protective style and this and that, whatever. No one had the direct answer to my problem, my issue that I was facing. And so I had to struggle for a very, very long time in order to figure out the thing that was going to get me to my goal, the thing that I wanted the most, right? I had to figure that out on my own. And because I went through this very frustrating, difficult past, it became a passion of mine, a desire of mine, like a mission of mine to do everything in my power to make sure people who are coming up behind me on the same road could avoid the massive pitfall that I fell into. Like that is the one thing driving me to make these videos for free, spending my time <laughs> doing this when I'm supposed to be like studying and I have a hundred thousand other things to do. I'm choosing to do this for you, for people on the internet who are looking for something that did not exist <laughs> when I started, right? It was not even that long ago. This was maybe five years now, right? Just 
no one was uploading that content I hadn't seen anyone like me who went through what I went through who could tell me the answers I was looking for that person was not on YouTube right and so I took it upon myself to become that person to fill that gap this massive hole that existed <laughs> in this like thing that were that is so important to us like the answer wasn't there so I took it upon myself to become the person to provide that information that's one thing that's being very misunderstood <laughs> people making comments like this are just assuming that like there has just been this enormous wealth of information available to everyone who's on their hair journey with hair type like mine and just everything should be easy breezy because you know there's all these other ways out there you can get your forcey hair to waist length because it's just common knowledge like you should know <laughs> So yeah, ignore this girl who went through this struggle that you're probably going through and whose hair type looks kind of like yours and also, <laughs> you know, grew up on YouTube the way you did and um, has the result that you want. Yeah, just, you know, we don't need to listen to her. What does she know? <laughs> like, it really is baffling to me um, the fact that people can... So I, I have my story up on YouTube, all my videos, what I went through. This is all, you know, public information. Someone can have seen my videos, saw my story, like see where I came from. I just put out a video yesterday showing all my, my hair in the short stages. Like to see that I started from, like where you started from. And then watch the videos about my story and see what I went through. You see my hair now, what it is, and to sit there and be like, homegirl's method doesn't work <laughs> yeah she ain't got the sauce like she doesn't know what she's talking about it's just like truly i don't i don't think anyone's gonna look at this video like they're gonna look at this video look at my hair <laughs> and tell me that the method i used to get here was fake like doesn't work yeah, because you can see it now, right? Like, I got the receipts, obviously. So it's really, truly baffling to me that someone would really, like, put out into the world that, yeah, sis doesn't know what she's talking about. Like, this method is impractical. But it worked, though. And clearly it can't be too impractical because I did it. <laughs> so it was practical enough to be implemented, which means it's practical practice able to be put into practice i practice it <laughs> it just so i want to address that next the idea of practicality this person um it seemed like they found offense in the fact that i was trying to share my method my methodology with other people trying to share with them the roadmap um that i acquired on my journey share that answer with all of you what they found offensive about it was the fact that it was impractical, right? Among some other things that maybe I'll get to in this video, maybe I won't. Let's address the impracticality portion right now. So the reason I talked about my story right before this was to tell you, to put into perspective, like, why I find it so important to share my message. I had to go through so much grief and pain to get this roadmap for you. Well, I mean, I got it for myself, but now because of all the struggle I went through, you guys are my passion, like one of my passions. Us black women with my hair type succeeding and getting everything they want in life, like is my passion. <laughs> so it took me so much to get this roadmap and now all I want is to give this to you so that you can achieve the same thing I achieved, right? It's not about like, oh, we have so many paths to choose from to get this goal that I want, waist length, forcey hair, whatever. Like, this is the goal I want. And up until now, like, no, like the path has been unclear. Like, we know it's possible, but we don't really know how to get there. I figured out how to get there, right? I didn't say I figured out every way humanly possible in our earthly realm how to get here. The issue was, okay, we don't see any path, <laughs> but we see the goal, we wanna get there. No path, I came, I found a path. I'm coming back and letting you all know, look, here is the way, here is a way to get your goal. 
All you have to do is follow this roadmap I'm giving you and you can get there. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying this is the perfect path to this goal that you want. This is the only path to the goal you want. If you don't take this roadmap, you will never, ever achieve your dreams. Did I say that? I didn't. But I know because this is who I was. This is who I am. Like getting this goal was so important to me. It was all I wanted in my childhood. It was all I wanted when I was in college. Most of my youth was spent me pining after this goal. Like, think of that what you will, you know, oh, she's so vain, this and that, like she only focuses on beauty, whatever. I'm a normal human like everybody else. I have things that I want, things that I aspire for. And due to my upbringing and my, you know, circumstance, this was a very important goal of mine. And so me achieving this after everything I went through, it was basically like I had acquired a treasure chest, something so valuable because this got me what I wanted in my life, right? It got me this hair that I absolutely adore and I love and I know so many of you want the same thing. So it would be cruel of me, borderline immoral of me to have found this information, this path that I know so many people want, and then to just look at you guys and just abandon you. Be like, yeah, no, this is mine. Like, you know, I earned it. I'm just going to keep it for myself. I could have done that. But I'm not that kind of person. I'm very compassionate and loving. <laughs> I know I don't sound like it right now. I sound like I'm yelling. I'm so sorry. It's just I'm like, you know, really heated right now because <laughs> um, I hate... I hate so much being like misunderstood because I do my best to be so honest and open and like this is just who I am and I want everyone to know it like I'm not saying you all have to like me but like if you're going to dislike me whatever you know so be it but don't dislike me like because you misunderstood like reality that's just like I don't I don't know what to do in that situation. Like, we've got an issue with, um, you know, a, a basic understanding, and there's nothing I can do about that, which is really frustrating. So the main issue is that this, like, negative idea doesn't just affect me, right? It's not just a... It's not a hate comment. It's not like, oh, you know, I don't like you because this, this, this. Like, that it doesn't have anything to do with me. Like, it doesn't matter if you like me or not. What's important is I have this message I need to get out that I know will help people. And if there's someone in the comments, like, whose, whose comment is going to prevent people who are looking for my message, who I could help, would prevent them from, like, believing my message that could have helped them, that's a problem. That's where I have issue and I'm not okay with that. <laughs> because once again, I'm spending my time and energy to, for the sole purpose <laughs> of helping the people who were like me and are looking for someone who has the answers to get to where they want to go. I have an answer for you. And I know that if you were to just try it, your hair would grow longer. Like you, <laughs> you would find success to some degree. Not saying it's the perfect regimen for everyone. Not saying you need to take this regimen and do it for the rest of your life. Like, the message that I have for you guys is if you were to take this thing I implemented, it took me six months to get past my growth plateau into my ultimate goal of waist length. Six months. And I know that if anyone who's in a very similar situation to where I was five years ago, if you were to take what I'm telling you, literally exactly the same framework, and you did it for six months, you would very likely, like 99% chance, have the same results I did. Like, that is my message. That is my soul message, you guys. I'm not trying to tell you how to live the rest of your life. I'm not trying to tell you that this is the only way to get what you want. I'm sure if you didn't take my method, like obviously not, I'm sure. There are naturals with a similar hair type as mine. As I've mentioned before, they've popped up a lot in the in the past few years, there are a lot of girls on YouTube now who have a hair type like mine who have long hair. I say a lot, but a lot is relative. There's actually not a lot. There's just more now than like the two that were around when I had short hair or when... This wasn't even when I began. This was like six years ago. This was like growth plateau me and maybe a little bit before. There were like two girls on YouTube with waist length 4C hair who were actually making videos about like 
how they got waist length hair like they were actually teaching and this was like maybe like naturally high and like west african baby at the time so there were other 4c naturals on youtube who had waist length hair like nappy headed jojoba and um there's like indigenous strands and 22nd like cent natural century movement whatever there was like a handful of them but not all of them were making videos about how to get waist length hair or like videos that were like good enough quality for me to even to like tell what their hair type was like or like there were a lot of variables y'all <laughs> and i know i'm not like the only one who knows this i know so many of you are like me like you started your natural hair journey back in like 2010 2012 2013 whatever like back in those times we know we were on youtube girls like us were not on youtube with waist length hair and that is like all of this together is what fueled me to be what you're seeing right now on the camera like me sitting in my room filming with my receipts on my shoulder like full of passion <laughs> <laughs> to get you to understand like the simple message I have for you so I don't even know what point I was addressing in the comment right now but um yeah practicality so there's the issue of this person thinking that they're offended because they're thinking that the method the method I have is the most practical method or it's going to be practical for everyone right this is an issue because that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you use this method, it will get you to your hair goal, right? So there's one misunderstanding there. Second issue I have with, I think was in the same paragraph or the same sentence, is like, so they're assuming, I'm assuming this is practical, most practical for everyone, yet they're assuming as well that everyone is not willing to sacrifice for their goals. So in this last paragraph, whatever, I'm, I'm not reading it right now, just going off of memory, they're saying your hair journey is meant to be enjoyed and no one should have to sacrifice their, their looks for like their goals. I bet like <laughs> that was me for 10 years. <laughs> I was willing to sacrifice anything, everything, whatever, you know, short of like my life to get my goal. Like, I just think it's really crazy that they would assume <laughs> that I and pushing this as the most practical method out to everyone and that's wrong while they sit back and assume that everyone is as passive about their goals as they are like this isn't even this isn't even meant to be judgment this is like literal literal logic it's it's truly baffling because here i am i'm the person who knows that there are people out there who have a goal that's so important to them, they want it so bad, they're so passionate about it, they're willing to give up a lot. And I talked about it in the last video, you know, and my hair was short. I was like, I was so driven to achieve this goal that I was willing, I was willing to look bummy for however long it took. That didn't mean that I'm telling you, you need to look bummy. Like, <laughs> I used beanies because I wanted to use beanies. If I found that I really needed to tertiary protective style, but like I hated beanies and I'm just a high fashion princess and I just have a different aesthetic than like me of 10 years ago, I would have found a way like hats, beanies, <laughs> woven hats in neon colors are not the only way that we can protect our hair from the elements. Why? I just... Y'all, my phone is like filling up. Um, I don't have that much time to film this video. I wanted it to be quick, but the more that I like, once I start talking about it, like there's so, I have so much to say. I don't want it to turn into a 30 minute rant. I have dinner plans. My birthday's tomorrow. I'm trying to stay in high spirits. So I'm not gonna go through and address, of course, everything about this comment, but um, these were what's most important to me. I just wanna make it very clear that the advice that I'm giving you, one, it works. I have the receipts. If you are the person who is looking for a method that works and will get you to your goal, I have that method. I have one method. And it's up to you whether after you listen to this, you listen to me, you look at what I'm telling you to do, it's up to you to decide whether or not 
it's worth it for you to try. Whether or not you think it's practical in your life, right? That's for every single person to decide on their own. I was the first person who tried it, obviously, for me. And because it worked, I feel compelled to share that with you. It's not right for someone else to go and get to decide this for other people, right? That's the, like really upsetting. Like you think that just because you wouldn't want to do this for six months, that that means everyone else who wants what we wanted and like doesn't know how to find it, isn't willing to try it. Like that is just so crazy to me. Um, no. <laughs> Can you imagine if I had gate kept my information like what I started my YouTube channel maybe four years ago. Yeah, I'm slow, but I've put out everything I know. I'm trying to do what I can to get this information out to you guys in as many ways as possible. I'm slow, but I'm not gatekeeping. I've given you everything I got. And even up until now, there are people who have commented on my videos saying, thank you for your advice. Thank you for your tips. Because of this video, like a few months later, I'm now at mid back length. I'm now just shy of waist length. My hair has finally started growing again. I'm finally seeing progress. Thanks to your tips, I'm nearing my hair goal. Like, these are comments I've gotten. Like, I've gotten my testimonials. If it wasn't enough that I had the receipts on my own head and from my own sister, right? My sister started her hair journey because of me as well, and her hair has surpassed mine. Like, if it wasn't enough that there were two people here on video showing you that what I figured out works. There are people who've watched my videos, tried it, and it's working for them. And that's everything to me. That is everything. Because of that, like, it's worth it to come and make YouTube videos just to get, you know, nothing in return. I'm not gonna call it nothing in return, but I mean like, you know, nothing physical. Your comments, your testimonials, your engagement on my videos are all I get and it's it's enough for me. So I just, yeah, wanted to address that because if I didn't, I might like, <gasps> I might lose it a little bit. <laughs> I might lose it a little bit. So yeah, once again, this video wasn't about like, addressing just a negative comment I got or someone doesn't agree with my method. It's not about that. It's the fact that their comment could potentially discourage people who need to hear my message and for whom it could work. It would work. <laughs> it's about discouraging those people from trying my method. That's what I'm not okay with. That's what bothers me. That's what I don't like, okay? Just because you don't like <laughs> the method I'm presenting doesn't mean it's invalid. Doesn't mean it doesn't work and doesn't mean that it won't be everything that someone was looking for when they find it. Like just because it's not you, whatever. Whoever wrote this comment, whoever's agreeing to the comment, whoever's thinking this way and never commented, like this is for you. <laughs> so I don't like that, please. <laughs> if we can stop this behavior, then I, don't have to get all passionate and fiery and make videos when I have plans. <laughs> make videos that are disturbing my other plans the eve of my birthday. <laughs> Getting all frustrated on the eve of my birthday. Anyways, that's all. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna go and address every part of this comment because that's not what it's about. It's about the issue that um, this comment is potentially causing to the people who I feel called to speak to. <laughs> I don't know what my purpose in life is yet, but I feel like this calling that I have to speak to you all who are looking for the message that I have, like this is the closest thing I think I've ever felt to whatever my purpose may be in life. So it is deeply disturbing <laughs> to see that, you know, people may be potentially trying to like disturb that. That's all I have to say. I'm gonna go. My host mom is making a birthday dinner for me. My friends are waiting. I've got to go. But um, yeah, I hope that you guys heard this. Once again, I'm not trying to fight with anybody. I just need you to understand that like, you know, 
don't pick a fight with me because <laughs> we're gonna have problems you can you can you can dislike me just because you dislike me but don't like come for my my people my audience my message the people who need to hear my message like leave them alone and we can all be friends. We can all get along. That's it. I gotta go. If you haven't already signed up um, on the wait list, then today is your last day. And I hope that you enjoy the special things I have coming for you. Just, I hope you enjoy, you know, the rest of our journey together. <laughs> I'll leave it at that, you know. That's all I have to say for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for believing in me. Thanks for sticking by me. Thanks for, you know, giving me a chance. Never said I was perfect, but I do believe that there are a lot of people out there in the world that I can help from my experience. And so I'm going to do everything I can to reach those people and help them get to where they want to be faster and less painful than I got to my destination. All right. I love you guys and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mata ne. Bye.